Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 17th, 2023. Well, on Friday, we had kind of an interesting day where we gapped up, but we just didn't hold on very well. We gapped up on those big bank reports that were better than expected, but we didn't really hold. We just kind of uh, well, modest pullbacks in the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see here in this chart, I have changed this to green because I followed what I said. Uh, we hold this area here and I'm going to turn it green, but I think there is still some question. Don't get overly confident here. Um, in the current market situation there is that possibility that we could drift right back down below that and turn that red again now taking a look you can see if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here in the market well i'm going to look right up here at this resistance to see if they can break through that level of the chart and if they can I would suggest we're going to move just a little bit higher right up into that region of the diamonds chart now if the bears find inspiration today and continue to push us down and we had some bad um, economic news coming out of china last night that has the market feeling just a little bit on the bearish side this morning nothing major but pulling back just a little bit and there is that uncertainty as we still wait for the ramp up of the earnings season. Now, as you look right here, we could um, pull back right into this level here and uh, potentially retest that level as support. And if that holds, hey, we're in great shape. If that were to give up just a little bit, the next real level of support that we've got is back down here. So if we break down through that um, area right there don't be too surprised that the selling could get um, pretty heavy remember we're awfully extended in um, the S&P 500 and the QQQ and if we were to pull back if the bears were to attack over there certainly could see um, some sharp selling um, not that not that it breaks the market down but just a relief in the buy pressure that we've been seeing here lately. Now, keeping in mind, if we look at the technicals here, there's nothing wrong with that chart. Um, even if we pull back down below that support, it might raise a little fear, but technically speaking, we will still hold up in that area. And then if we take a look at our SPY SPY also, um, just extremely strong, um, extremely extended based on our technicals. We're way stretched out here on this. And it really is um, as a result of seven to 10 big tech companies doing um, almost all of the lifting here in the market. Now, that being said, if we continue to see a little bit of pullback, then I would look for some support right in here. And I don't think, you know, that doesn't change anything. It might raise a little concern, a little bit of fear, because that would be a fairly substantial point bolt pullback into this level. But I don't know that it, I don't think it's going to change the overall sentiment of the market at all. It is ravenously bullish, um, almost to the extent of um, exuberant bullishness, which does worry me that eventually we're going to run into a problem and the sellers will come in hard and a lot of folks could get hurt. So be kind of careful here if you're heavily invested in the SPY and QQQ it might be a good idea to continue to raise those stop losses be watching closely for that potential reversal that could occur at any time now if the bulls continue to find inspiration we can re come back up here and retest these highs as you can see and if we can push through that well then we've got a little bit higher that we can go over here to test some of the next levels of resistance in the chart up there around uh 455 but we're very very extended in the short term so 
so watch that close. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, as, or QQQ, QQQ has been the leader of the market by far. We're continuing to stretch out. We broke through this resistance. Now we still need to kind of get some proof whether or not we're going to hold, excuse me, hold that area as support so watch that closely in here if the bears were to find inspiration today and you can see we got a little shooting star coming in there yesterday or on friday suggesting that we may be weakening just a little bit if the bears were to push back i would look for a pushback into here and that doesn't change anything in this chart um, we're still very very extended a long ways away from our 50-day moving average bulls are really hungry to buy up very very expensive tech stocks if the bulls were to find inspiration here and continue to push then i would look for a retest of friday's high and you can see that's a that's a resistance area that we'll have to watch pretty closely we could fail um, at that area in a retest if not then we look to push right up here. It's amazing how we have just rallied this straight back up, even though these companies haven't been producing the earnings that they were last um, you know, year ago, but we're pushing them right back up there in similar prices. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM, also turn this line green. As you can see, we pushed through, we held up in there. Friday, we saw a little bit of selling coming in here. I think the question is whether or not we're going to hold this level here in the chart. And if that were to fail, you know, nothing major happens. We push back down into this level of price support in the chart if the bears were to push. And I don't think that changes anything. Still very bullish, still quite extended away from our 50 day moving average, which does make me nervous. But if the bulls continue to uh, find inspiration, let's look for a retest of that resistance up here. And then if they can go a little bit further, notice I've added a little downtrend line in here. Maybe we push right up into this downtrend area of the chart before we find a little bit of pullback or consolidation in the IWM. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar well first off let's look at our vix our vix is acting like no fear here in the market at all in fact it's been kind of a funky little vix uh chart here um so much so that the cboe has um, put out a new product trying to combat this change because there's such a rise in um high speculation trading and zero data expiration options that has changed the dynamics of the market uh, dramatically. So keep a close eye on this. If we were to see a little bit of bearish action come in, we might see a little bit of fear come back up there in the market. If those bulls can push on through those highs, then we need to be breaking the support levels down here. Now, keeping in mind, this is very, very low on the VIX, suggesting a, a bit of a complacency um, area here in the market. So, and when we get complacent, if we start to sell, that's where panic kind of comes in. So watch carefully again, m maybe raise those stop losses, start watching carefully for that potential if the bears start to become emboldened on anything. And then if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 relaxed a little bit here on Friday with that bit of selling, and we needed that. We have been so overextended here for so long in the market. So a little bit of relief in here um, sets up that opportunity. If we can find some reason for bullishness, we give gives us that upside opportunity in the chart, keeping in mind that there's still uh, that big downside potential pressure that could come in just from the overbought condition itself. So watch carefully there. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108 also pulled back a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with this chart, except the fact that we're a bit overextended. Notice last time we extended up this high, the sell-off was pretty harsh. 
So kind of keep that in mind. Now I would I would say this is a very different chart pattern because we have rallied up here in a more consistent rally instead of that straight up move that we had here. But that being said, we are reaching that very overbought condition in the market. A little bit frothy here and when that happens, then we look for longer consolidations or more of a pullback. And who knows, it may be the earnings that trigger some of that. So watch that carefully. And then our T2107, which is the percentage of stocks above their 200 day moving average, also very, very bullish. Nice little pullback there on Friday. The bulls are still in control. But remember when we start reaching up here into these 60, 65 areas here in T2107, we start to reach that very overbought condition and that very frothy area area of the market where we would expect a little bit of rest or pullback. And then our T2101 on Friday continued to extend that momentum in here. It was We've had a relatively broad-based rally the, uh, the last few days of the week here, but as you can see, um, reaching up here into some resistance area, we still haven't hooked over, but that breadth, market breadth, continues to remain strong. What we don't want to see is that hooking over and that breadth really shifting direction here in the market. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar well it's not the biggest calendar um, of, you know that we've seen here for a while on at least today's look we're going to have empire state manufacturing which has been an extremely bearish number for a long time but the market doesn't care the market just doesn't care that manufacturing is is not in good shape They're just absolutely ignoring it so i don't know that it matters when that number comes out let's see if we can get a little improvement we've been starting to see little tiny bits of improvement in that manufacturing sector and then we've got some bond auctions here uh today Day to uh, be paying attention to. Uh, we've got retail sales on Tuesday. That'll be a big market moving potential number and we're going to have industrial production in there. Business inventories, housing market index, and then that treasury international capital at the end of the day. Heading into Wednesday, we got housing starts and permits, petroleum status, jobless claims, Philly Fed, and um, existing home sales will be on Thursday and little to nothing on Friday to be concerned about as you're planning your week ahead. On the earnings calendar, we have a pretty light day today, but we will be ramping up as we move through the week. First off, let me cover a few of these. We've got um, HDB, we've got just some regional banks um, that will be reporting. A little pop and drop going on there in HDB. CFB, uh, no action in there on that yet. ELS, um, real estate trust in here will be reporting today. That one might be interesting to pay attention. Um, we've got FBK on that list. Um, keep an eye on that on its report. And last but not least, we got HBCP that will be reporting today. So a few of the regional banks in here will want to be keeping an eye on. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, then please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor, if you could also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And just a huge shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you so much. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are, are awesome. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And remember guys, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're gonna have to do your own due diligence, be a little bit cautious and careful because we are extended in some areas of the market. And um, if the pullback begins, you know, if the, what they're calling the Magnificent Seven now, um, of that Magnificent Seven, if they start to sell off, look for the market to be a little bit on the bearish side if they do begin to sell off. Let's take a look um, at some of these stocks. And um, um, if you're watching um, some of these, remember that sometimes I have a bias. I try to mention that bias in, in my trades. 
Um, I don't want anyone to blindly follow my positions. Make sure you do your own evaluations. Make sure you're following your personal trading rules. Let's take a look um, at some of these stocks. First off, I want to take a look at UUP. Boy, we just had a watershed event here in the dollar just collapsing uh, down. Now, notice we've got a pretty nice support area in here. We've got just a little bit of hint of trying to hold this support area so if the dollar starts to strengthen kind of keep in mind that would be a bit of a negative for uh, commodity prices but if we were to fall through this area here oof, we could see gold silver commodity prices in oil um, steel natural gas um, could all have some upside opportunity if that were to drift on down and really start breaking some support levels in that chart. So watch that closely. Uh, taking a look or talking about oil, as you guys know, I've been talking about Occidental here for a while. We broke this downtrend, shot up hard, pulled back just as hard on Friday. And now if we can find a higher low of support in here, rest a little bit, then I would be maybe looking for some upside and see if we can find that trend in here and move along. So so watch that close pretty volatile here on occidental and um, if you look at stocks like APA also pulled back pretty strongly on Friday but if we can hold those higher lows then I would be looking for that next upside opportunity here in oil take a look at some of the um, refiners out there Halliburton very very strong here breaking through resistance in this chart so rest or pull back in this if we can maybe connect with the trend out here may have some rest that, need, that needs to happen in here but look for that next opportunity on Halliburton um, Schlumberger oh my goodness very strong just ripping to the upside on a new contract deal that they um, they picked up any rest consolidation in here could set up an opportunity it could also go ahead and just break through up here and hold and i'd be looking for that next opportunity in the slumberger just a rocket ship ride there on slumberger let's take a look at some of the retail this has been a little bit um, of a surprise for me with the debt situation of the consumer that we're seeing right now but uh, kss a nice little um, rally to the upside we broke through some resistance here a little rest or pull back into trend i would look for that next opportunity to start moving to the upside in calls take a look at now keep in mind you will want to start paying attention to when these earnings reports uh, come out because that can make a major impact um, on these charts um, uh, we could see that bullishness coming in ahead of the earnings report in the anticipation or we could see the selling coming in in anticipation so watch those closely take a look at uh, JWN JWN also doing the same thing rallying to the upside trying to see if it can break out of this resistance area and I've been seeing a lot of this in retail now Macy's is one that's going the other direction you can see we rallied into this resistance ran into some trouble here so we do have a mix I don't want to give you the idea that retail is just taken off everywhere um, it is not there's uh, still a little bit of trouble um, in some areas of the market let's take a look we've got Walmart holding in here off a nice little support area now again it's going to report on 817 so this rest consolidation in here may be necessary to find that trend but um, one of the things that happens often is Walmart will rally toward its earnings report. So kind of keep an eye on that in case it starts to move to the upside. You might also want to uh, kind of keep an eye on uh, some of the things that are going on in utilities. Um, also kind of surprised here if we're a very, very bullish market, you wouldn't normally see utilities spiking up. But there we have it. We're starting to push up through some resistance here, this little rest pullback could set up that next opportunity to the upside take a look at stocks like Southern Company trying to show that bullishness trying to break out here we got a little upside going on in uh, that chart that opportunity could be coming around um, also I think we need to keep an eye on these shippers oh my goodness FedEx just ripping to the upside here this nice little rest consolidation pullback in here now I've still got the trend here 
I don't think this trend right in here is probably sustainable for very long. So I would watch for a little bit more rest or consolidation to come into FedEx and then we'd look for that next upside opportunity to come along in that chart. Um, take a look at um, US Steel. Now US Steel hanging in there pretty strong. Now once again, I have a bias on this because I am holding US Steel on a, with a longer term, a little bit longer term attitude toward this uh, for more upside. But watch this carefully um, right in this area. If we can hold this support, um, then we may have that upside move opportunity. And again, if the dollar strengthens, that could have a problem here on um, US Steel. But if the dollar uh, continues to sink, I would look for the um, steel to continue to move higher. So watch that closely here in the chart. Also, boy, we've been struggling here an awful lot with natural gas. Quite a bit of volatility in here. Um, I have a bias on this because I am holding a long term or picking up, starting to build a long term position in UNG. But watch this closely. If this fails here, it is certainly possible that UNG could reach back down here toward these lows. If we can hold this price support and pop back through then I'd be looking for that upside opportunity here in natural gas last thing I want to mention here today um, you know we've been talking about this situation in wheat and we had this spike in anticipation that Russia would um, cancel their agreement to allow wheat shipments out of uh, the Ukraine well um, now they have officially made that uh, true statement. They are canceling. Um, uh, Ukraine will no longer be able to ship its uh, stuff through. Russia is shutting that down. So that raises food prices here in the United States and everywhere in the world because they're such a huge exporter of wheat. Watch that closely here. You can see we're spiking in the pre-market on that. Again, a weakening dollar would help this quite a bit. If we break back above that little support area in the chart and hold, uh, you might want to be watching for an upside opportunity because this may change that uh, the look of that sector on, um, on wheat. So watch that carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all of the best in your trading, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day.